If you've ever worked with me in my coaching programs, you know that we start my coaching calls by me asking you something that you're grateful for. And we do this for a number of reasons. It shifts the entire focus of the drudgery of the day and really helps us pick out something that's positive in our life. Because you know that when you look for something good, you'll find it. But when you look for the negative, you'll find that as well. And so I like to shift the focus of our conversation into looking for the good. And when we look for things that we're grateful for, we sometimes need to dig deep because maybe we're not having the best day. And when we make that shift, our mindset changes, our stress reduces. It has so many different health benefits of being grateful. So let me ask you, what are you grateful for today? Think of something that makes you dig a little bit deeper than just the surface of, you know, I have a warm home around me. When we dig into having an actual gratefulness practice, it can change so much in our health. And this week I have a blog all about it. I think it's so important when we look for the good, we'll find it. So this week in the blog, we're going to talk about some health benefits of having a gratefulness practice, having a really clear gratitude, you know, journaling practice, really setting yourself up in a plan that you can do this for yourself. I do it with my clients, but it's absolutely something you can do yourself as well. So being grateful, having gratitude, really showing yourself and showing the world that you're appreciative of what it brings can do so much for us. And I'm going to share a little bit more on this blog. So head on in, have a read through. And then after you do, let me know in the comments something that you are grateful for today. I would love to hear.